Okay, I'm going to talk about how to maintain professional boundaries as a BCBA. So first, we should pr provide behavior analytic services only in the context of defined professional or scientific relationships or role. So we don't want to provide additional services outside of that role. Um, when a behavior analyst provides behavior analytic services, we are going to use language that is fully understandable to our clients while remaining conceptually systematic with a professional behavior analyst. If we're talking outside of what they can understand, things may be misunderstood. Um, we're going to provide appropriate information prior to service delivery about the nature of such services and appropriate information later about results and inclusions. So you're going to come into it saying this is what the our services are going to look like so there's not any confusion. Um, if there are differences of age, gender, race, culture, ethnicity, national origin, religion, sexual orientation, disability, language, or socioeconomic status, if this affects our ability to work um, concerning a particular individual or group, we will obta obtain the training and the experience as well as consultation or supervision necessary to ensure that we are providing the best services or we are going to make appropriate referrals. Maybe we're not the best suited BCBA for taking on that individual or that population. In their work-related activities, we are we do not engage in discrimination against individuals or groups based on age, gender, race, culture, ethnicity, national origin, religion, sexual orientation, disability, language, socioeconomic status, or any biases prescribed by the law. So we want to make sure that we're not discrimi discriminating against people and that we're being professional within our roles. So we do not knowingly engage in behaviors that is harassing or demeaning to persons with whom they, whom we interact with on our work based on factors such as those which are the person's age, gender, cultural, ethnicity, national origin, religion, sexual orientation, disability, language, or socioeconomic status. We want to make sure that we're not treating people differently because they aren't like us. Um, we also recognize that our personal problems and conflicts may interfere with our effectiveness. So if we want to make sure that we refrain from providing services when our personal circumstances may compromise delivering services to the best of our abilities. In addition, we want to make sure that we're not um, engaging in multiple relationships. We always must be sensitive to potentially harmful effects of these multiple relationships. Um, we also want to, if we see that a multiple relationship has arisen, we want to seek to resolve it so that it doesn't become a potential problem. We also want to inform clients and supervisees about the potential harm effects of these multiple relationships. And we do not accept any gifts from our clients or give any gifts to clients because this can constitute as a multiple relationship. If you provide a gift to someone or they, pr they provide you a gift, they might be like, oh, well, I owe you or you owe me type deal. Um, and we do not exploit persons over whom we have super advisory or authority over as well. Um, we do not engage in sexual relationships with clients, students, or supervisees because such relationships easily impair judgment or become exploitative. And we also refrain from sexual relationships with clients, students, or supervisees for at least two years after the date the professional relationship has formally ended. Behaviorists do not Barter for services, unless a written agreement is in place for the barter that is requested by the client or supervisee customary to or the area which services are provided. Bear in commensurate with the value of behavior analytic services provided. So if a client were to come up to you and say, oh, I have a gift for you, um, what you could say is, oh, that's just not in my policy. We don't accept gifts but thank you anyways, just to kind of avoid that from occurring. Um, if someone were to ask you out to eat or 
offer you a glass of water. You can say, no, thank you. Oh, I already ate to try to avoid a multiple relationship from occurring. Those are just some examples of which you can kind of maintain a professional boundary without making it a dual relationship.